<laughs> By the way, I wanted to address something. I don't know if you guys saw a little, a lot of con, a contentious uh, convo there between uh, Nikki Bella and Booker T. And Booker T. Who told Nikki Bella basically to calm down and shut up. I thought, did you guys hear that? When Nikki Bella was talking, Booker T. Really kind of in a passive aggressive way shut her down and would not let her talk and was saying how much Naomi and before you say it's part of the storyline I do not think when he told her to calm down uh, basically she's like I'm calm I, what are you talking about she got really passive aggressive with him and I guarantee you're going to read something about something went on between those two that was not scripted during that she was talked over you couldn't even hear her she was really disrespected by Booker T and I wonder where that's coming from to be honest with you Maybe just they, they just, he's just tired of putting the bellows over. Did you hear what Booker T said? It was a Bradshaw-ish kind of bizarro world comment. Naomi, on the record, he's stating is the best diva of all time. What the hell is he talking about? Did you guys hear him say that? He, he might be pulling for Go it. Go back and watch it. He put Naomi over as the best di wrestling diva of all time. Well, That's the what Booker are, T said tonight. Naomi. The, the bellows are kind of getting full of themselves uh, in real life. I guess they did. Oh, a, I think they are. There was definitely go back and listen to it. I guarantee you, we see tomorrow whether it's torch or whatever that Nikki went back there and complained about Booker T shutting her down during what was her promo time. He, you hear it, and you almost hear Michael Cole almost kind of refereeing between the two of them. That was definitely did not go well, and you could see on Nikki Bell's face that she was pissed off at Booker T. I, I mean, go back and watch it. The interesting. So I, I don't know what that's all about. Maybe they are tired of having to put these two over, and they're not the best. And Nikki is continuously reigning as champion, which well, she probably could have shut out the belt taken off for a while ago. But Nikki, uh, yeah, Booker T definitely gave us some shots tonight while he was talking about her. Nikki Bella, and it wasn't a heel baby face. If anything, I thought Nikki was the baby face, and Booker was the heel. Nikki Bella and Nikki Bella, Bella uh, both went on to MTV. Uh, they did some sort of an article with MTV, which wasn't part of WWE, talking about right. how they did their own show outside of Total oh. Divas. So I don't know if they were trying to, to bring that up within MTV, uh, outside of E! Entertainment and outside of WWE, but I wouldn't be surprised mm -hmm. if that got them a little shit. Yeah, they got, there was some heat that they were shutting her down. She is the champion. She had, they would not let her talk. And they were talking over her and Cole and, and Booker. I, I was saying to myself, what is this clusterfuck interview with Nikki Bell? And I was on the phone with my friend at the time, and we were even agreeing that they're doing this on purpose to her. They're definitely clowning her on purpose. It's not a heel baby face thing. They're, they're putting over Naomi, who's the heel. And they're shit, like, Nikki, you're irrelevant. Naomi, it's all about Naomi now. I, I'm like, that's kind of weird to sell it that way. Naomi is the heel. Do you understand what I'm saying, Rush? Right, right. I mean, I thought, well, just thought it was interesting. And, and, and when, did you see what Nikki Bella said? He goes, how many Bellas does Naomi have to beat when, when Booker T said that? And Nikki Bella goes, well, if you're paying attention, there's only two Bellas in the company. So I'm like, what's going on here with these two? There's some kind of passive-aggressive thing going on between these two. Well, Nikki Bella and Brie Bella are still supposed to be heels. When Paige was in, uh, well, it was still working before her injury, she was the baby face and the Bellas were the heels. Now all of a right, sudden, I think they're flipping that script now because of what Naomi's doing. Right. Well, I mean, they, they, but, flipped they, but they certainly didn't do it tonight as putting them over. They, they put them under the bus tonight in the, in the yeah. announcement booth. I yeah. didn't get that at all. And Nikki kept saying, well, I'm the, I'm the champion. And they're like, yeah, for now. Like, I'm like, that's kind of weird to say that to her though. I, I, I I'm, I'm looking forward to looking at some of the dirt sheets tomorrow. I want to see if there was anything that went on with this that was not scripted. I wouldn't doubt it. You know, I, the women don't get a lot of attention anyway. So this maybe will get them a little bit more attention. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Bellas, if if they are legitimately trying to make contracts outside of WWE, I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe it was, maybe they told Booker T to do that. Yeah, I, uh, I look at it like this. It's Nikki Bella and Booker T, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which means I'm no, no, I get fuck. it, but I just, you know, you got to, you know, she is the champion. I mean, they got to put her over a little bit, don't they? Yeah, well, you know what? I like Booker T, but, you know, what I, what I, I don't put too much thought into Booker T because Booker T if you pay attention to his commentating like Dolph Ziggler versus Seth Rollins tonight oh I wish Dolph Ziggler had a little bit more attitude and then when you have a heel guy you know during the night this guy has such a bad attitude he'll say like oh that's what Dolph Ziggler needs he's more of a bad attitude then when a heel has a bad attitude 
this guy's got such a bad attitude. It's bad for him. It's it hurts him. So if you if you follow Booker T consistently, he's inconsistent. He's consistent yeah. with his inconsistency. And I think yeah. it's let me put it this way: as far as Booker T and Nikki Bella tonight, it, it let me let me say it like this: Booker T is obviously fed. Um, lines to put over Naomi in the thing, and if Nikki Bella can't come back to what Booker T is saying, then obviously it's going to sound like a clusterfuck. But bi- but Booker T has certain things that he has to do to help put over Naomi because Naomi is not on the mic; she's in the ring. So you know he does what he has to do. If both sides don't do exactly the way that they're supposed to, it could come off as you know c- c- you know confrontational. My honest take on it, it's Booker T and Nikki Bella. <laughs> Who cares? You know, I don't give a shit. Let them kill each other. I don't care. I, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I don't care. I don't, you know, I don't like the Bellas. I mean, you know, the, I understand why they're. You've never been a Bella fan. I'm not a Bella fan. Never was. I just. But you've they, always been a huge Naomi fan. Bree Mode is Even though in our high school uh, football playing days. Hey man, I, she's, she's got a great body. I will say that about that. Yeah, girl. I like Naomi. I like. It's funny that she just throws her ass at the face and knocks you out. That's a finisher.